an unprecedented global crisis. Millions of people looking for someone to blame. Cracks are starting to appear in the European welfare state, marking the start of a gradual abandonment of social rights. Growing fears, more belts being tightened, yet the same aspirations, the same desire to buy and spend. The solution? Low cost. Do the same, but for less money. You have to save. But is low cost really the answer? It may be cheap, but why is it cheap? Do we know how much things really cost? Can we compare a product that contaminates groundwater aquifers, putting at risk the health of everyone that drinks it, with another that doesn't? Is a product that generates employment in a community the same as another one that destroys it? An explanation of how we've got into this situation. El boom del estado del bienestar se ha basado en el desarrollo económico provocado por la generalización del crédito. Cuando este falla, el bienestar se tambalea. An economic vision. Credit is a drug. Keynes was a pusher, and of course, nations in the Western world are complete junkies. A philosophical reflection. Nietzsche is the grand vendor of the Occident. Jubila la ética de la resignación y lanza al estrellato la ética de la experiencia. A historical vision. Feudalism, the bourgeoisie, social pacts, taxes, democracy, the welfare state. Uncomfortable facts. People are superfluous to progress. And an answer. Hacerse no costa. The struggle between low cost and no cost. Possibly the only thing we can do to save the world we want to live in. Because consuming implies voting. When real democracy means consumption, no costers. Algo está cambiando.